Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Some Empyrean. So today, I thought we'd work on the other three systems to get ourselves this guy right here. So this is the Alpha System Survey. And it says, once all four reports are in your personal inventory, a special mission will activate. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. Collect uh, survey reports on Alpha, Beta, Delta, and Epilus, uh, Epilus, Epilus, I can't say the word, Epsilon, yay, to obtain a reward. So I thought that'd be kind of cool, and I wanted to work on that today. So we'll do a lot of cuts on this. We'll go boo 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 boo. We'll be blinking all over the place pretty much. But uh, I wanted to show you something in this deconstructor. So if we go to deconstruction here and we go to um, our main storage, oops, there we go. Uh, we were getting this salvage. A salvage uh, basically um, very heavy, actually, if you could see that. Uh, basically, it's 6,000 uh, volume for each salvage. If we throw it in here, it actually gives you a whole bunch of random things like titanium plates, electronics, like a lot just for one single salvage. So a piece of salvage is actually extremely valuable. Not only that, you get some things that I have never gotten yet. Uh, so storage out, look at this, magnetic plates, a magnetized plate used for construction of advanced uh, devices. I assume eventually we're going to make those anyways. I don't even know if I can. It's probably magnesite, which I did find on a planet before, so... Um, I've never actually looked, so I don't know. It's MAG, right? Oh, we're probably in the wrong. Oh, there it is. Magnesite ingot 5, iron uh, 4, and you... Oh, okay. So that's not too bad, actually. So it's, it's just nice that you got some uh, some of it, but it's not a huge deal. Um, we actually have some because... Where is it? Um, there you go. I found them on a planet, a really, really hot planet, and they were just floating. So if I, we, we see them again, I'll, I'll obviously show them. But uh, it was just when I was uh, just, you know, screwing around, basically. I'm like, oh, look at this. What is this? And I, I found it. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so obviously going to be used for something later on. But uh, it's, 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 it's going to do its thing. It's going to take a while, but uh, pretty cool anyways. I really need a bigger storage uh, to go in. I didn't realize I, it would so much would come out of that. Okay, so let's uh, head out to our ship here, and uh, let's get going. So I just turned it on a couple minutes ago, so it should be warmed up. I like how you gotta like legitimately warm up your ship before you go on your adventure. Even when you go in, uh, go on uh, to your hangar there, and uh, the ship in there, it it's actually cold. I don't know why. I guess it doesn't realize it's in a nice warm atmosphere. But uh, anyway, so uh, Alpha, Beta... Uh, yeah, so this is Alpha. Here's Beta. So we're going to head over here now. Uh, oops. Beta, please. Lock target. There you go. And it's going to be the same idea. So we're going to go into the UCHN or whatever and have a little chat with them. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, there it is. Oh, here's one of those, uh, we'll probably check that out. That's one of those, uh, thingy-maboppers I was telling you about. There'll be something interesting in there. A puzzle, and you can get more of those, uh, the terabytes from it. This way. Oops. Break out. There she is. Okay, here we are. Um. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Let's go over here again. So we're gonna talk to. There we go. This way, right? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, you have an exploration. No. Which one was that then? Oh, was that, um, you know what? That was the captain then. Even though it's exploration, which is funny, because they said combat missions, and was he the one who gave us the, uh, I think he might have been. It was kind of funny. Bridge, please. Oh. When you fly, it kind of screws up on you a bit more. There you go. I have missions available. Okay, yeah, so survey not repeatable. Okay. There you go. 
Yes, please. Don't forget you can loot all their stuff here if you wanted to. I don't know if there's anything ever actually like worthwhile here, but you do have the opportunity. Now that I saw the scrap, metal scrap. Oh yeah, here you go. Well, that's just like regular scrap, the stuff that you you get for everywhere anyways, but whatever. I guess we're in the interface, so we could have grabbed it. Anyways, so let's keep going. So here you go. So we're going to go to all those locations. Sounds good to me. And uh, but before I start doing and worrying about that, oh my goodness. Okay, let's just sit from here instead of doing... <laughs> Apparently, I'm trying to go in, like, the wrong way. Um, yeah, we wanted to check out this, so I can show it to you if I can. I guess it's on the star? I don't know. Unless if it's in here. There's no lock, is there? Yeah, I'm not sure then. I might not be able to do that one. It has a big thing here. I thought it was going to be that thing, but usually it says something else, so... Yeah, I can't lock target on it. We're already there. Yeah, I might be wrong about that because of, of the naming. Okay, uh, so beta 2 or beta 3. Okay, so same thing before. Um, and it's going to be, they're going to be all the same type, so let me just go around and do that. So I'm just uh, continuing on. We're on uh, beta six, seven moon there. And uh, that's which is the one you see there with the red ring around it. But I found a station here. I haven't been to this kind before. This is a gas refinery. So I want to check it out because that is a, you know, especially one. And um, I'm just wondering what they buy and sell because that might be very useful over time for us to uh, buy or sell things to it. So. Let's see where we can uh, even get in here. Do we go in the middle, a side? It's really cool looking, that's for sure. Pretty sure this is not on self-destruct. <laughs> that's something else, not having a good day. Oops. I just don't know how you get into this puppy. Is that a door right there, potentially? It's hard to tell, to be fair. Let's try it anyways. We'll figure it out. I hear people, so that's always good. Oh! Oh! Wow, okay, this it's right here. I was like, hmm, not, not doing so well. It's like, oh wait, never mind, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so, I don't know if they have an innie for, for the sales and stuff, that is. We'll check it out and we'll see if we can find it. So, uh, all of them basically have like, uh, crap, I'm getting cold in here. It's not, it's not airtight. Uh oh. <sighs> okay, we gotta get back to our ship. This place sucks. It's supposed to be airtight, but it ain't. Well, I mean, maybe that one isn't actually supposed to. I don't really know, right? But usually they're airtight. And I'm pretty sure we might have gotten rid of all the stuff on here. Yeah, I was an idiot. Do, 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 do. Oops, ammunition. There you go. Yeah, I don't have them on me right now. So that was my own fault. I deserve it. Okay, so we're looking quickly for a salesperson. Wherever we can find one. Okay, there's none on here. No, I don't think so. Okay. So we're gonna go back down here again. Okay. This wasn't a really good level either, because we didn't find anything here. Oh, here's an internal. There we go, we found it. That is actually cool. So that's actually supposed to be all exposed. Okay, because they even have this as a sealed room. Oh okay, yeah, that's cool. That really is cool. Uh so here you go. We got uh mining space. Um, here to shop. So what do we have here? So you can buy some different resources here. So these aren't really worth it. They have quite a bit of stock on them, but the price is like, unless you got a good way to make money later on and it doesn't matter, then go for it, right? 
But look at this. You, they'll buy auto miner cars for 37. So this is just miner stuff, basically, which isn't really that special. Um, but uh, I will take a picture of it. So I take Control P, I guess it is, for the. I use a program called Greenshot. And I'll store it there. And then let's check this guy out here. This one, oh, here you go. Trader Power Plant. Oh, he is the Power Plant Trader. Oh. I'm here to shop. Look at this. Advanced Generator. So that's, is that the big, big, big one? I think so, because it's large generator and advanced. So he will pay you over 100k per advanced large generator. So that's pretty cool, actually. Solar cells, he'll buy those. I need to actually buy some for myself eventually. Um, but it's uh, for the for main planets and stuff like that. But that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we'll take a picture of this. And there we go. So that's that's pretty cool. So you got minor space and that. So I'm going to go and write that in my spreadsheet. And then we'll continue on. I just need to point out on this one that the, uh, <laughs> the mountains, they go outside of the atmosphere. Obviously, when you go in, it's going to be a different story. But... I would say these are definitely the tallest mountains I've ever seen from space so far. It's like pathetically crazy and awesome at the same time. Like look how low we're going. <laughs> yeah, there they are. So way, way further down, obviously, once you get in closer. But I mean, they're still pretty damn tall mountains when you think about it. So let's see here. Yeah, so not too bad. A little over 500 meters from space. Okay. Anyways, I'm going to keep going to the other ones here. I always like to explore the planets a wee bit, and this is really cool. This one's a Penta Corp station, which I actually don't know much about them. Uh, besides, it looks like a prison, uh, a station. Um, corp sounds like it's, you know, corporation, right? So it sounds like they might have something worth uh, a value of trading, you know what I mean? So um, I do think that might be worth checking out. So let's go ahead and do just that, shall we? <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. Specialized in... Okay. They might have, uh, well, they specialize in it, so it might be cheaper than, say, buying it from a station. They're the crystals, too. Interesting. Um, I don't know what the if that's a good deal or not, to be honest. All it seems expensive, but uh, you'd have to do the math. But that's that's kind of cool. Um, not as exciting as I was expecting, honestly, but... Um, yeah, I don't even know if I want to mark these guys off. I guess I can just so I know about it, but it does, it's just, it's not worth it. You know what I mean? It's just like, I, I have no need for the, to, to deal with this trader, but I guess having a complete index of it is important. They're going to add more traders in 1.7, um, which won't be till next year. Um, but at the same time, I might be interested in uh, what they offer. Yeah. So this is just, this is your, your, your common, you know, person, right? So. You got these everywhere. I guess you do, uh, was it plastic tubes? I guess I could say part two or something for that. But that's just your regular servant. Oh, it has a, actually servant corp. It actually has a different name for it, so it is a bit different. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, there we go. We've completed it. So I'll make sure our inventory is decent. Okay. There you go. Cool. Ooh, so they're giving us different posters. That's that's pretty cool. I like that. So yeah, we do get the mining core. One of these guys meh for that. But uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty decent actually. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And so the next place we're going to go is Delta. So... We're just in an asteroid field here. That looks really cool. That looks like a ship, uh, shipyard or something. Not marked though. Um, let's go ahead and uh, where is Delta? Delta starting area. There you go. 
Lock onto that. Look at friendly Xerix. <laughs> Not friendly to us, though I, I kind of wonder what it would be like being the enemy, but I wouldn't want to be like an overpowered enemy. Like, I'd love to be an enemy eventually, like play as an enemy, but it has to be like where I kind of feel a bit more godly. Oh good, we went to the right one. I wasn't sure if we... Because I think my other uh, waypoints were in the same area, so I thought it was like, oh damn, it might hit one of them. Okay. And here we go. There's the system we got. This one has Pandora, which is uh, one of those dead worlds. Okay. So we're going to head over and talk to them. Okay. Let's go say hello to these guys now. Okay, there we go. Bridge and engineering. There we go. So we're gonna go in here. And we're gonna flip around here. There we go. I'm getting the hang of this more. So yes. There we go. Proceed, please. Okay. Um, oh yeah, SVs, oh, uh, anywhere, and uh, go. There you go, just helping out the newer guy. Okay. So there we go, Delta 2 or Delta 3. So we'll keep going here. Which one's gonna be the uh, the Pandora one? I'm hoping, well, it says Pandora, so there might, is that not one? Oh. There's one called Pandora, so like, it's its own one. Oh, this one's a dead one. Space, actually it doesn't say dead. Oh, we're not on the planet, that's why. Planet view. Oh, interesting. Is this not a planet? Oh, you yeah, know, it is. It's dead. What about this Pandora? I'm pretty sure it's dead. It doesn't actually it says jungle starter. Oh, no, never mind. Maybe Pandora isn't the one that I thought. I thought there was one that was like really dead. Like you wouldn't want, would never want to go there basically. But I'm going to check this one out. See if there's any cool uh, salvage there. Oh, there it is. Unf uh, the unfinished escape right where I crashed in and somebody's made a base here <laughs> that's beautiful really they're just AFKing here I don't think they're on right now but yeah they, they literally have their base right beside this puppy that's beautiful so this thing here is like as far as I know this is one of the best salvage ones you can get out there because of what it offers so to get into here, you're going to want to smash a hole somewhere. Um, let's just go through the glass and then let's just smash through the glass and go from there. There we go. I hope there's like no doors in the way or anything. I hope it goes all the way down. I think you're fine at that point. Now this is going to slowly drop, but uh, I'm going to show you why I love this thing here. So, I, I know where the core is. Oh crap. This plant doesn't have good gravity, I don't think. Okay. So what we're doing is we're trying to find the medical room. 
you get into the medical room, you're basically, uh, you've won the, the, the little area anyway. So let's go and, oh, let's not get ourselves to hurt too much. So I don't know if the medical room is around here. There it is. There's the core. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we want to do is get up there to that core. Okay. Give me a pain. Just let me get to the core if you can. Is it here? I think it's in this room. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Oh, there you go. We want to go on this side. So there's a big opening here. I guess this is where I should have gone originally, but okay. You learn these things, right? And then, yeah. anyone and basically there's two extender cpus in here which if you find those alone is worth a lot because those are what gives you um those uh upgrade parts those ones that we're always looking for or that eats up a lot of gold so that's kind of the the way to go here now i heard somebody says if you put your own core in here I don't think I have the resources to make my own core, unfortunately, but if you had the resource to make a core, if we brought a core, you can actually open a lot of things up. Okay, here you go. Extender improved. This is exactly a perfect example of what you can get here. Look at this. What watch this. So large optronic bridge for them. So it's hit and miss how much you what you get, right? But that's kind of what you want to get. And uh Yeah. There's there's beef. I guess there's there's two of them. I th there might be some on another level, though, because I don't know the ins and outs of this ship, obviously. So um, I just know I'm pretty sure there's two of them. So it might be in another area. Probably further down, I'm guessing. But at least now you know about that. It has, I think, two warp cores or one warp core. I don't know. It has a lot of warp cores. And if you want to go even crazier, you could just rip this whole thing down when you're done. Um, so what I mean by that is you go to the very bottom and you just let, you just tear the foundation and let this thing fall to grab all like the, the iron salvage, the, you know, steel, you know, all the metal salvage basically, um, which is a lot of fun too. I'm not going to do that, but, uh, just letting you know that you can do that. Um, I don't really want to do it right now. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to go through it quickly and just kind of show it to you. Play around here a bit. Out. I usually like to open these first just so you're not dealing with the containers, especially because they don't go they go in your inventory usually when you get those boxes. I'll probably just collapse part of the top. Yep. Can you actually oh no. You might be able to if you're fast enough. I was like wondering if I can loot that. And let's just get rid of these things because they're annoying. We can't walk back and forth as easy. There we go. Oh. Nice try, punk. Oh, the fridges will have something in it. There we go. Interesting. Is there something collapsed on there? Or it may have been from above, yeah. Okay. This container here. There we go. Okay, let's just keep going down here. It's more of the fun of just working our way down now. Uh, you want your fuel out of here, so this is always good. Look at this thing. 100, 200, 300, 500, 630 fuel out of that. So that's all the fuel, obviously. If you want the oxygen tanks, you can do that too. 110 in total. And then, yeah, you can rip these down if you don't want them now. Or maybe you want to rip them down for whatever, but anyways. These are the big hangar doors here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Just wondering where if I could find that other core. I know it's around here somewhere, but... Uh, RCS probably worth some pennies to grab here. That works for me. Okay. Okay. 
even those ones I think are uh, they're slightly okay value why it's the larger ones they take a lot more resources so we're salvaging I guess depends what you need it for right everything's kind of worth salvaging but uh, yeah you can see all the the machinery anyways it really adds up for uh, adds up for the loot so and this is just like where I landed on the planet. This planet could have like 10 of these. So hopefully not that many. That'd be a little crazy. But yeah, here's the uh, warp drive. Oh yeah, so I think the other extender might be in this level somewhere. So there's a warp, a whole entire warp drive we just got. Well, the parts. and Yeah, here is the CPU extender. So there you go. So let's see how many. We got four optronics that time. Four of the uh, power one or matrix ones too. Mm, those guys... So now you're starting to see why it's pretty key and important to uh, loot something like this. Now, if we go too far down, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have some problems because I'm gonna have to go back up. Actually, there's a way up, I think. So you know what? I'll keep going down and just my ship didn't fall. It might be too close, and it's just screwing up. These, all those things will usually have a fuel of some type. Be biofuel. It could be for the Pentex, like you saw there. Uh, it can be one or two or the third uh, version of the fuel cells, but almost always it's uh, got uh, some sort of fuel-like item in it. So, just something I thought I'd tell you because uh, they're annoying if you want to. There's a huge amount of them, and I'm too lazy to ever loot that many. But I'll show you where you can get like a billion or one of them. Oops, that one, that one. There we go. Look at this. More of these guys here. There you go. Oh, that's just a landing. Not worth doing this, by the way. Look at the. That's it for parts. Never, ever worth it. I did it for fun, but I just wanted to show you how it's never worth it. I've never seen it worth it, so uh, I just can always assume it never is worth it. Okay. Go and I get these two. Okay. I think we're ready to move on here. This is going outside at this point, right? Yeah. Okay, I think well, that's pretty much it for that. Um. Okay, we'll we'll jump down here. So, you got. I mean, there's lots of stuff here still. Uh. So in here. These are like your boosters here. These are full of the uh, the things they're selling you, so you can you can loot those. And there's they're all over the place. And oh, okay. Here's here's another warp core here, warp drive. Wondering where the another one was stored. Oh crap, we lost. Uh, crap, we lost connection to our ship. It's not good because that that's worth a lot. That. Uh, no, we're too, definitely too far. Okay. Well, we might not get that loot. Um, I was wondering where the other stuff was. I didn't know where it was, so uh, glad I found it here. So we're going to go all the way to the top here. Is this the one that takes you to the top? It might be. Oh, yeah, it might be. So this might work out for us anyways. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't think I've been into this part of it. So this is like kind of like these are... Those are constructors, by the way. How ridiculous is that? Oh, those are fridges? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I've never been in this part, so it just shows like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm learning something new. And that's that's pretty intense too, because this is uh, a lot more than I expected. So this thing, it honestly just keeps giving and giving. Okay, let's... Uh these guys out. Cool. They have even little grow rooms in these things. That is so cool. Because they already had the grow rooms up top, but more the merrier, right? Okay. Is that it for this one? I guess so, yeah. This ammo. I mean to break another one. I was trying to get up top there, but it's like, okay. More the merrier. Okay, so we're gonna try to get back up top, but this is not the way to get up there. Um, actually, maybe it is. Yeah, it's up here. That's the way to do it. But I guess we're already up here. Fuel tanks ever, like everywhere, basically. 
That's the beauty of this place. Okay, there's our ship, so we have to work our way up there. Not gonna be so bad now, but uh, there you go. There go. Oops. That's not gonna be easy to do. Okay. There you go, that'll be easier. Haha! -ha. There we go. Cool. I want to go down to that because I didn't actually realize that was the section it was in. I I did this before, but I, then I collapsed the whole thing, not realizing there was this whole other like large section that had the goodies in the middle. So it's like oopsies. Now I kind of know where the goodies were. So let's bring it here. Oh, hopefully this will start drifting down a bit. Is it drifting down now? Yeah. Okay. So it was in here, huh? Oh yeah, look at this stuff. It's just stuff, it's just loaded of cargo, basically. I guess this is like their their main cargo pay kind of thing, and this is just where everything is. Those are constructors, by the way. This is the grow lights, yeah. I don't need those though. Okay. So we want to go down, down, down now. I'm just interested in that little area there. There you go. Oh, here's even. Uh, yeah, so obviously these are going to be good for. I'm too lazy. If I did the core thing, you probably could, I guess. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing you could probably uh, link it up and open all the inventories and just like spew it all over. Might try it here in a second if if I can make a core with the uh, probably have enough resources at this point, right? So here's my ship right there. Uh, anything else? Oh, look at these guys here! Oh my goodness! Oh yeah, look at that! There's a <laughs> there's a protector thing there too. Yeah, this is like Christmas Day basically of resources. Large RC. These are just full of them, just sitting in here. Yeah, I kind of almost, I mean, obviously the extenders were probably the best thing I could get here, but obviously there was a lot more amazing things in here as well that I, I missed, because I mean, all this is adding up, so. I definitely missed out on some of the good stuff here. Okay, let's go back up to my ship. Okay, that gave me anxiety. Advanced constructor, and then we'll do the core here. There we go. And then we're gonna go and throw you guys over here. And then let's just land you, just because I'm 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 pretty happy with what we've done. Okay, that was awesome though. This will extend our episode a bit more because I still want to finish these guys in the next thing, but it's not like they're going to probably take long. But um, And then down here, oh, look what we got down here. Now they're just medium thrusters. They're like probably the least exciting thing out of this whole damn thing, unfortunately. It's like the most pathetic part of the whole thing. It's like medium thrusters. Wow. I don't think there was anything in these things. Oh yeah, here. Like I told you, look, look at those are lined up like crazy, the boosters. Okay, so uh, let's take the core and see how this works. I don't know how it works and I want to know if it will work. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it's a regenerable base. Oh, because there's regeneration on, it won't work. <laughs> I deserve that. Well, let's try, can I hit P on this at all? No. For what's in here? There, it won't even show up at all. What happens if I open a container? Will it give me an option or no? I'm guessing no. I just wanted to see if there's a way to see all the... Oh, here it is. No, it won't let you do that. Okay, so anyways, it's not a big deal. I just thought I'd try it. It, it doesn't work. Um, so 
Heck, let's have the fun part. This is what I told you about, so let's just do it anyways. Only fun when the whole thing comes down, not just pieces of it, but... You need like five people to kind of run around and do this like crazy. Oh, that's debris. Yeah, so you're, you're shift clicking the debris here. That stuff's worth a bit. Is that debris? Oh, I think I got it? Yeah. So I want some of those stuff. Wow, okay. I got a lot of materials out of that. Okay. There you go. And then now you can, it's the, the more and more annoying part is doing these ones, right? But. That's solid still, yeah. I kind of wish like when they the the containers break down they're in the thing at first and then they drop out kind of thing so like it gives you an opportunity to loot them through this and then you have to loot them the other way now these are annoying because i'm pretty sure those pillar things don't have gravity working on them correctly so they're going to hold this structure up uh, in some ways This is where we murdered it for salvage anyways. Anyways, <laughs> that's so cool looking. It's like I was going to leave it there, but it's just too damn cool. Oh, that's debris. I was like, huh? Oh, that's debris too. I keep standing spots to take it down, and then I realize it was just debris. They don't bounce around too much. some stuff but not a lot but. okay there we go now we're talking let's go over here this will be more exciting over here probably I'm about to die from no oxygen I guess I should get some oxygen I think sprint might be eating a lot of it because it goes down in big chunks Let's go ahead and get some oxygen so we can go here. Got these portable ones that work pretty good for this kind of stuff. I should have remembered to grab uh, breath on our thing, but uh, it'll do here. Okay, let's finish this up, shall we? There we go. Yeah, see, some of it held up, unfortunately. There you go. Stuff that shouldn't be held up, but I think it's these these stupid things. Oh, that worked. Never mind. 
It probably still was helping it, but it looks like when I was able to still trigger it, so. There you go. That guy logs on again, he'll be like, what? It's probably where he keeps his base. He's like, this is the best place to gather this. Just come in. I mean, it's not a bad idea. Even if you stop playing as much, you just, you know, log out in a place like this. And then just come back, you know, once a day or whatever. A couple times a day, whenever the regen is. Oh, these are 12 hours or 8 hours or whatever, but... It's, it's it would be worth it but anyways so let's check out all the inventory we got obviously ridiculous but uh there you go this is all the stuff we got out of that but the the ones that are the most amazing are these guys right here basically that's that's what wins the day in my opinion and makes those beyond valuable so pretty cool okay i'm gonna continue uh, surveying there you go we got another one done Let's hit F1 and get the reward. I guess we have to wait till it pops up for that. There you go. So same rewards, I'm guessing. Project Eden poster again. Um, so let's see. F4 here. Get rid of you, you, and you, and you. So it's nice getting those little minor cores, to be fair. And then uh, let's go ahead and so um, I'm just going to go and grab the next one. So we have to go. Sorry, which system are we going to? Um, Epsilon. Oh, there it is, right there. Funny thing is, I've been I've been to all these places for fun, just exploring. So it is kind of funny, but all good. And uh, let's go. And, uh, yeah, so I'll just cut this one out. I'll just go talk to him. It's the same thing, right? So, kind of interesting what happens when we finish this fourth one. Interesting. This one has a hacking tutorial and a tutorial beacon here. I thought that was kind of interesting. I haven't ever seen anything in any of these ones. Uh, you know, it would just be just the, the research vessel, but this has a little bit more to it. So, it's kind of cool. <laughs> Captain Ford Harrison. Haha, <laughs> Harrison Ford. Get it. Silly, silly developer. Okay, here we go. So, look at that. We'll go and discover those. We'll be back here soon. Okay, there we go. Let's open this up and grab a reward. Yay! <laughs> You've obtained a survey data on the Alpha Beta. Would you like to report your findings to a captain on board of the blah, blah, blah? Proceed. Okay. Warp to the ship. Now, does it actually put a waypoint for us, or is it, you know, it just says warp to a ship? Okay. Um, so we'll warp to. Lock ship. Okay. And here we go to Pathfinder. Oh, when I warped in, it says your sensors f f saw a warp thing. It's funny because it's almost like, was this originally going to be two separate things and then it wasn't? Like, I wonder if it was moved eventually. Yeah, so approach it now. Okay, yeah, so we're going to do that. So we got uh, the humanity poster. So we got one of each poster or is that, oh, is this a different one? Oh, no, we got, okay, so one of each, I guess it was. Um, the other one's probably at the base. Um, there we go. Cool. So we'll just uh, slowly let's get a daddle over there. Okay. Incoming message. Please proceed to main deck. Sounds good to me. Okay. Now you should make your way to the bridge and speak with the captain. The bridge can be accessed by going through blah, blah, blah. Okay. Until your engineer section up the elevator. Sounds good to me. We already knew all that anyways. We've been here. Yeah. So I'm wondering if those could be done or started elsewhere or if it's just more that maybe something changed at one point because the dialogue feels like it's more like you know you were never supposed to do it this way to begin with like come here but at the same time obviously we did right so thank you for bringing the reports to me we'll make uh, good use of the data we don't have much to spare but here's a few items that may interest you so it was just a bunch of items they gave us cool so they gave us another poster endless worlds they gave us uh, exploration data. This is, oh yeah, so this is uh, no use, okay. 
navigational data. So maximum. So got three of those ones. Upgrades a capital vessel, warp drive, uh, range increase one light year, which is awesome. Large electronics bridge and uh, EVA boost, which I need on my ship anyway. So, yeah, that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. So, and uh, mission survey epsilon non repeatable. Oh, it's funny. It says non repeatable, but yet yeah, we've already done it. So, um, I wouldn't do it again, obviously, but. Uh, I'm, well, I'm tempted to grab it anyway, see what happens. But obviously, this is the one we just did. I'm just curious if it's going to pop up. Okay, no. It's probably because it doesn't check or whatever. Uh, maybe you can't check or whatever via the scripting. Uh, and that's probably why, but uh, that's cool. And then, uh, obviously, as you guys know, we can go ahead and hand in some of this data over here. So we can go over here. Turn in. I don't have any. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, warp drive upgrades. Uh, one navigational, one navigational. There you go. Awesome. And I th as far as I know, we're getting out there pretty fa far now. Um, because we because we went the engineer route, we already got um, um, a bonus from that too. And then there's a bonus on like advanced warp drive. There's like another one as well you can get. But let's just for fun pick like a really stupid destination. Like obviously that's too far, right? just to get an idea where we're going. So let's go way over to D here. So that's definitely going to be too far. So it should tell us, I guess, when we warp there that it's too far. Okay, so your maximum jump distance is 45 light years, which is kind of funny because I feel like that's really low. Like, I feel like something's not stacking there because there's 30 on this. I'm supposed to have gotten like 10 or something from the, uh, yes, yeah, so it's not, the math isn't making sense to me. Um, unless if it, the what's on there was counted for what I got from the engineer too. I think I got like what? I feel like it was like 10 in total. Maybe it was only one each time. I don't know. Something, something doesn't play the right math in my head, but it doesn't matter. Um, but anyways, we can extend up to 50, then you can get the better warp drive too, which I think it does like 75 or something. So you're, you're definitely going to be able to warp, it sounds like, over 100 light years eventually, which that'll help a lot. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, all that fun stuff. And we will see you wonderful people next time. I think in a case like this, you just go for it. No, none of them are locking. Oh, is it because we have the other lock? I don't know. Lock target? Unlock target. Let's see if this will... There you go. You just go for it. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a wonderful day. Goodbye!